<laughs> Am I right? Amen. Then for whatever reason, he goes to this scripture. 1 Timothy, 4th chapter. And he goes here. And this is what baffled me. Like in other words, how foolish can you be? You go to this scripture. I'm like, man, everywhere you go, that's where I want to be. Every scripture you pull, I love it, man. Listen, let me explain something to you. Any scripture you go to, any scripture, I don't care where it's at, where in the book is my favorite scripture. I don't care where you go. Wherever you go, that's my favorite. All of them are my favorite. Read. 1 Timothy 4 and 6. 1 Timothy 4 and 6. This is his reason he said, keep the Sabbath. Read on. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things. He tried to say that Paul was talking about his manner of life when he said this. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that crazy? He, 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 he said, if thou put the brother in members of these things, read. Thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. This is where he says Paul meant, this, this is what Paul was talking about his man of life. Now we're going to go up to the first verse and come back down to the sixth verse. Let's see, what, let's get into this verse. Read. 1 Timothy 4 and 1. 1 Timothy 4 and 1, read on. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. That in the latter times. Where we at? The latter times. Read on. Some shall depart from the faith. You have departed from the faith. Hmm? This is what Paul is talking about. Those that depart from the faith. Trying to tell them if you keep them in members of the faith. Follow what I'm saying. Amen. You make a good minister <clears throat> of Jesus Christ. Read on. Giving heed to seducing spirits. See, man of life means keep the Sabbath is a seducing spirit. That's a seducing spirit. You, you follow what I'm saying? Giving heed. You know what heed means, don't you? Giving heed to seducing spirits. Read. And doctrine of devils. And doctrine, see, that is a doctrine of the devil. Your doctrine is the doctrine of the devil. Hmm? Anytime you try to say what Paul said, if you put the brother in members of these things, you make a good minister, that means man of light, which means keep the Sabbath. That's doctrines of the devil. Paul ain't talking about no keep no Sabbath. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Read on. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. See, that's what you're doing. Read on. Having their conscience. Your conscience is sad. Seared with a hot iron. You know what that means? It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> your heart is just as hard as hard can be. The word, see, you have to break up the follow ground and sow the word of God in it. You can't have a heart. Your heart is as Jesus said. The, the seed fell upon stones. See? The word I'm preaching, your heart is a stone. So therefore, the word can't go down in your root. Because your heart is, has been smeared, seared as a hot iron. You follow me? We don't. Forbidden to marry. See, forbidden to marry. You be at that next. Keep at it. After a while, you tell people they can't marry. <laughs> they will. After a while, you tell them they can't marry. You already doing the next step. We don't. And commanding to abstain from me. You already doing that. Tell the people to abstain from certain meats. So why not pick up? You can't marry. <laughs> you already tell the people they can't eat certain foods, man. Yeah. There you do. Right. You preach that. Y'all believe that. You can't certain meats you can't eat, right? Amen. So this bump up, what's right before the meats? Forbidden to marry. You might as well take that too. <laughs> Am I right? Right. You might as well read on. And commanding to abstain from me. You might as well tell them, look, don't marry. Just go out and fornicate. Ho ha. Well, we tell the people, look, go ahead and ho ha. <laughs> don't get married. Be a ho. <laughs> you might as well. Amen. <laughs> read. Which God has created to be received with thanksgiving. All right, to them that what? Of them which believe and know the truth. You don't know the truth. You call the scriptures, you don't know the truth. You don't know it. Read on. For every creature of God is good. Every creature of God is good. And
and nothing to be refused. And nothing to be refused. Read on. If it be received with thanksgiving. See, you got to know how to receive it. Yeah. And read on. For it is sanctified by the word of God you and prayer. You can't sanctify it. You don't have the word of God. And I ain't talking about no book. I'm talking about the spirit of life. You don't have it. Read on. If thou put the brother in remembrance of these things. Keep the Sabbath. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things. Keep the Sabbath. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things. When in the world he can keep the Sabbath and man of life? <laughs> that, that, tell you, that, that, that is just pitiful. Amen. It's right down pitiful. Amen. Amen. Pitiful. Amen. It's pitiful. Very much so. Very pitiful. <laughs> read. Colossians 2 and 16. Uh, uh -huh. Read on. Let no man therefore judge you in me. Don't let no man judge you in me. Or in drink. Or in drink. Or in respect of a holy day. Or in respect of a holy day. Or of the new moon. Or of the new moon. Or of the Sabbath day. Or of the Sabbath day. See, you can't judge me. You can't even, you can't judge me in none of that. By God, I walk all over your Sabbath. How? Following Jesus. I trample over your Sabbath. Following Jesus. Hmm? Am I right? Amen. God, they told Jesus plainly, you, he broke the Sabbath. And I believe the Jews knew we're breaking the Sabbath net. They knew Jesus broke the Sabbath. Oh yeah, he did. He broke it. He broke what? Keeping the Sabbath. He broke it. Hmm? All right. You're so crazy about Paul preaching on the Sabbath day. Give me the book of uh, Acts. 20 chapter of the book of Acts. Let's see if that's the only day Paul preached. You, you, you know, you want Paul man of life. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. 20 chapter of the book of Acts. Let's see here. Acts 20 and about the sixth verse. Acts 20 and 6. Uh-huh. And we sailed away to Philippi uh -huh. at the days of... We sailed away from Philippi. Uh-huh. Read on. After the days of unleavened bread. Yeah. And came unto them... To Troas. To Troas. Yes. In five days were we abode seven days. Oh, so they were there seven days. So that means they were there for the Sabbath. Right? Am I right? They, if you go somewhere seven days, that means the Sabbath had taken place. You follow me? We are both seven days. How many? Is there more than seven days in the calendar? So they're both seven days, right? That means they were there for the Sabbath. But let's see what Paul preached. Read. Upon the first day of the week. My God, upon the first day. Paul preached upon the first day. The that's in the seventh day of the week. And upon the first day of the week. And upon the first day of the week. When the disciples came together when to break the, bread. Disciples came together to break bread. Read. Paul preached unto them. What? On the, hold on now. Hold on now. Paul, what are you doing, Paul? Stop what? preaching, Paul. Do you not know it's not the Sabbath day? Paul preached unto them. When did he preach? When? Beginning when? First day. Read it. And upon the first day of the week, uh -huh. when the disciples came together to break bread, uh -huh. Paul preached unto them. Paul preached unto them when? The first day. <laughs> he preached the first day. I preached the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. My God, my 